Hello guys, Dio the Code here, back with another video in this Haskell tutorial beginners video series. And in this video we're going to be looking at if and if else statements. And also if else if and then state else statements as well. So yeah. So to start we're gonna begin uh, as we always do with main equals do. And then let's just get over here a variable, let's call it number equals six. Then let's begin doing some if statements. And in this video, we're going to be looking at is rem. Rem is the same as modulo or mod. Uh, for those who, who come from Python, mod is the percentage sign which works out which works out the remainder of the of the integer division. Rem does a, does, does the same thing, and the mathematical concept of this is modulo, as well. Um, so yeah, so we're going to say over here if a number and I'm going to be using these quotes. Now, these quotes can be found, It's you don't usually use these quotes, but these can be found below your uh, escape button. On my, well, on my keyboard, there's many other keyboards, it's below the escape button. Uh, you, you can find the, the, the this key. And Visual Studio presents me with an open and close one for me automatically. Which is neat, I guess. And we're going to type over here rem, space, and if number rem, Two. So if we divide by two, and that is equal equal to zero, I want to, I want to I want something to happen. So what we have to say is we have to say then we say put string ln and we put this number is even. Else put string ln this number is odd. Let's run this. Let's see what happens. So let me go up here. Win. Let's already have it as a recent file. It's fine. Then I just have a main. This number is even. Correct. It is an even number. So that is the basic of if and if and else statements. That is essentially the basics of them. But of course, we can go into a bit more depth on them. Uh, but before we do, let me just explain that over here. You have the if statement, which begins uh, the statement, I guess. Uh, so yeah, must you must write if if you want to do an if statement, of course. Over here is the condition. So over here you just put over here. the condition is on this line. And then on then on the next line, below you put the then and what you want to happen if this is true. So the true value, or the or the command to run when when the value is true, and the else statement. Along with the false now, in the else statement, you don't need the then. You don't put then. You just say else, and on the same line, uh, you put over here is what happens if the else statement gets run. So if it's false. So if we change this to seven, for example, and then reload over here our compiler and type in main. This number is now odd. So yeah, so that works. Um, now, as I've stated, we can also um, add. Uh, else if, like in other languages as well, you have you know don't only have uh, if and else, you also have else if. Um, so if I change this number to zero, let's see what happens currently. Actually, if I just reload up here, main, it says that this number is even. Now, um, really and truly, you shouldn't be able to divide by zero. That is a math error. So we should probably tell the user that we cannot work this out. So what we should do over here is we should say if number is equal equal to zero, then put a string error number is zero. And let's change this if statement over to an else if. And the reason why we have to do this error the number zero is because if we don't do this and we just put if, it's going to run both of them. So if we if we reload. In this now, so you would expect it to run both, right? Because in other languages, when you have two if statements and both of them are equal to true, it will just run both. But Haskell doesn't let you have two if statements. It must be if, if, and then else if, or else. You cannot have if if, right? You can't have that. So if we just reload it here, and we type it in main. As you can see, it works, right? 
Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, if it uh, if it, uh, and else statements. There's not much more to say on them. Um, also, you could do is a logical operators as well. So you can say if this is less than or equal to zero, we're going to put uh, error. The number is less than or equal to zero. If you want to do that, you can also do that. Error. The number is less uh, than or equal to zero. That's that's pretty much it for for if and else statements in Haskell. Um, in the next video, we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at types, data types, and type classes. We're going to be delving into that. Um, like this video if you did, and subscribe so you know when I next upload the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.